Shalom, Israel. Hayam Yahawadai. Kalev Yasharala. This is another Judah Night production. Thank you for tuning in. Today's lesson title is going to be Yahweh El Ahiram of Yashala. We're going to um, get started in just a moment. I know I look tired. I'm, my son had uh, got 10 teeth coming in. And he'd been up all night crying and stuff, you know, but he finally went to sleep. But we're going to go ahead and get it started. Shalom, Brandon. We're going to go ahead and get it started start like we always do. John 8 and 32 states what? And ye shall, shall know, know the truth, and, and the truth shall make you free. One more time. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Let's go jump right into that thing. Exodus chapter 19, verse 6. Come on. The book of Exodus chapter 19 and verse 6. Uh-huh. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. What What did the Most High say that we were going to be? And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. We are all ordained to be a kingdom of priests. Come on. And an holy nation. And a what? And an holy nation. A separate nation is what the scripture just said. Come on. These are the words which thou shalt speak. Unto the children of Israel. Uh-huh. Read it one more time from the top. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. Uh-huh. And an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Unto all the children of Israel. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 through 8. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verses 6 through 8. Uh-huh. For thou art an holy people of, come on, unto the Lord thy God. One more time. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. A separate people unto the Lord of Yahweh. Come on. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. That's possession. Possession. Read it from the top one more time. Huh? For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. To be a special people unto himself. Unto himself. Come on. Above all people. Above who? Above all people. Some people. All people. A few people. All people. The white man. All people. Come on. That are upon the face of the earth. Everybody that's on this planet, man, is supposed to be beneath us according to what these scriptures say, man. Um, Deuteronomy now, chapter 14, verse 2. Deuteronomy, chapter 14 and verse 2. Bring it out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, and verse 2. Uh-huh. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Ain't we just heard this in the other uh, the verse but ahead of that? Read it again. Ah. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord a, thy... A separate people. Unto the Lord thy God. Come on. And the Lord has chosen thee to be a peculiar people. A what? A peculiar people. A what? A peculiar people. A special people. Unto himself. Unto who? Himself. Then we hear these same possession words again, man. Come on. Above all the nations. Above who? All the nations. Above who? All the nations. Everybody, come on. That are upon the earth. Come on. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 26. When we get through with this topic today, man, you're going to know who is who the most high is messing with. It's only Israel, man. Only Israel, man. Come on. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 26. Uh-huh. And ye shall be in hope, excuse me, and ye shall be holy unto me. You shall be what? Holy unto me. The, be separate unto him. Come on. For I, the Lord, am holy. Because he is separate. He don't fool with all the other nations the way they, 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 they try to make it up to me. Come on. And have severed you from other people. He did what? And have severed you from other people. He has separated us from other people. If you had a piece of meat and you cut a piece, cut it in half, one side you're going to choose to be better than the other. Read that from the top again. Ah. And ye shall be holy unto me. Uh-huh. For I, the Lord, am holy and have severed you from other people. Come on. That ye should be mine. That ye should be who? That ye should be mine. There you go. He's telling you right there that we belong to the Most High Yahweh. John chapter 17 verse 9. Let's see what that verse is going to say. At the back, at the end of that verse is something very, Yahweh is going to say something very important. Check it out. Come on. The book of John chapter 17 and verse 9. Uh-huh. I pray for them. Uh-huh. I pray not for the world. Hold on. What? I pray for them. 
I pray not for the world. Start from the top one more time. I pray for them. Israel. I pray not for the world. I don't pray for everybody, man. But for them which thou hast given me, uh -huh. for they are thine. They, we are who? They are thine. We just read in the scripture before that, that we belong to the Most High God. Those possession words that he kept on calling to himself. We are his people. The rest of these folks is garbage, man. Deuteronomy chapter 26, verse 17 and 19. 17 through 19. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 26, verses 17 through 19. Come on. Thou hast avouched the Lord this day to be thy God uh -huh. and to walk in his ways and to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and to hearken unto his voice. And the Lord has avowed thee this day to be his peculiar people. To be his who? His peculiar people. One more time. His peculiar people. Come on. As he has promised thee, and that thou shouldest keep all his commandments. What should we do? Thou shouldest keep all his commandments. Uh-huh. And to make thee high above all nations. Make us what? High above all nations. So the same thing he said in Deuteronomy 76, above all people on the face of this earth, come on. Which he has made. Uh-huh. In praise and in name. In praise and in name. In both of those categories, we should be at the top, come on. And in honor. In what? And in honor. Come on. And that thou mayest be in holy people unto the Lord thy God. As he has spoken. As he has spoken. Because everything he's spoken, man, it comes to life, man. Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 23 and verse 24. Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 23 through 24. Come on. The book of Second Samuel chapter 7, verses 23 and 24. Come on. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people. Read that from the top again. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people? That's the question that he asked. Who on the face of this planet is like unto the Israelites? Come on. Even like Israel. Uh-huh. Whom God went to redeem for a people to himself. To who? To himself. He started telling you the same possession word that we belong to him. Come on. And to make him a name. And to do for you great things and terrible. Uh -huh. For thy land before thy people, which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt, from the nations and their gods. Uh huh. Their gods. We ain't supposed to serve no other gods, for he is a jealous God. Come on. For thou hast confirmed to thyself thy people Israel to be a people unto thee forever. For, for how long? Forever. For how long? Forever. That's what a covenant is. It's a forever agreement, man. Unbroken, man. Come on. And thou, Lord. Are become their God. Uh huh. We in that in in all the sayings, He has become our God. You steady hear these same words over and over again. He telling you through these scriptures, man. These niggas don't know how to read, man. First Kings, chapter eight, verse fifty-three. <clears throat> Come on. The book of First Kings, chapter eight, verse fifty-three. Come on. For thou didst separate them from among all the people of the earth. Read that from the top one more time. For thou didst separate them from among all the people of the earth. He's talking about the Israelites, man. And if you don't know you Israel, you need to check out uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, man. It tell you who them people is. Come on. To be thine inheritance. Uh-huh. To be what? Thine inheritance. We belong to him. Come on. As thou spakest by the hand of Moses, thy servant. When thou brought us our fathers out of Egypt, uh -huh. O Lord God. That's right. Now let's take a look at uh, the First Kings chapter 10, verse 9. Come on. The book of First Kings chapter 10 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Blessed be the Lord thy God. Bless who? Blessed be the Lord thy God. Thy God. Thy God. Come on. Which delighted in thee to set thee on the throne of Israel. Because the Lord loved Israel forever. He loved who forever? Because the Lord loved Israel forever. He loved the whole world. Because the Lord loved Israel forever. He loved the white man. Because the Lord loved Israel forever. Get it right. Come on. Therefore made he the king. He made us what? The king. That's right. Come on. To do judgment and justice. That's right. First Chronicles chapter 17 verse 20 through 21. 
the Most High, Yahweh, is only dealing with Israel, man. Come on. The book of First Chronicles, chapter 17, verses 20 and 21. Read. O Lord, there is none like thee. Read that one more time. O Lord, Yahweh, there is none like thee. There is none like thee, come on. Neither is there any God beside thee. Uh-huh. According to all that we have heard with our ears. Mm -hmm. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people Israel. Read that part again. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people Israel. The Israelites ain't nobody like us on the face of this planet, man. If we supposed to be so-called Africans, where's Africa's great athletes then, man? Come on. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people Israel, uh -huh. whom God went to redeem to be his own people. He redeemed with the redeemers for what? To be his own people. Come on. To make thee a name of greatness and terribleness. What he going to do with our name? To make thee a name of greatness and terribleness. Man, these folks scared of us, man. They terrified of us in, 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 on the low, man. But in, in actuality, man, we the greatest people here, man. Come on. By driving out nations from before thy people, whom thou hast redeemed out of Egypt. Uh-huh. Psalms, <laughs> chapter 105, verse 8 through 15. Psalms, chapter 105, verse 8 through 15. Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 105, verses 8 through 15. Uh-huh. He has remembered his covenant forever. He did what? He has remembered his covenant forever. He ain't going to never forget the promises that he made, man. A covenant is forever agreement, man. Come on. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. Uh, for how long? To a thousand generations. And a thousand generations about to expire, man, because he's about to crack that sky and come back and redeem his people. Come on. Which covenant he has made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac. Because we the descendants of Abraham and Isaac, man. Come on. And confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law. And he did what? And confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law. Because he's the father of the twelve tribes of Israel, man. Come on. And to Israel for an everlasting covenant. For what? For an everlasting covenant. For a minute covenant. For an everlasting covenant. For a second covenant. For an everlasting covenant. Read. Saying, unto thee will I give the land of Canaan. Well, he's going to give us what? Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan. Come on. The lot of your inheritance. Uh huh. When they were but a few men in number. How many we were? But a few men in number. It was number 70 of us went into Egypt, man. Yea, very few and strangers in it. Uh huh. When they went from one nation to another. Uh huh. From one kingdom to another uh -huh. people. Uh huh. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Right. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed. Uh huh. Do my prophets no harm. Psalm chapter one thirty five verse four. Through these out these scriptures, man, you gonna see that the Most High ain't dealing with these other nations. He only messing with Israel, man. Come on. The book of Psalms chapter one thirty five and verse four. Read. For the Lord has chosen Jacob unto Himself. He chose who? Jacob unto Himself. Israel. Come on. And Israel. For his peculiar treasure. For his what? For his peculiar treasure. His special treasure, man. He ain't dealing with the rest of them folks. We are his jewels. Like the last topic I gave a couple weeks back. Um, Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 8 now. Come on. The book of Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 8. Uh-huh. But thou, Israel, art my servant. Read that part again. But thou, Israel... Are my servant. We are the most high servants, Yahweh. Come on. Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. What did he do to Jacob? Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, oh. my friend. Come on. Let's read it one more time. But thou, Israel, art my servant. Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Uh-huh. Isaiah 43, verse 1. Through three. Come on. The book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verses one through three. Read. But now, thus says the Lord that created thee. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Read that again. But now, thus says the Lord that created thee. Created thee. Come on. O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Uh, read that from the top one more time. 
But now, thus says the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, uh -huh. and he that formed thee, O Israel. He's talking to the nation of Israel. Come on. Fear not. Do what? Fear not. Do what? Fear not. Come on. For I have redeemed thee. He has what? I have redeemed thee. He has saved us. Come on. I have called thee by thy name. He called us what? By thy name. Come on. Thou art mine. We are whose? Thou art mine. The same thing Leviticus 20 and 26 said. Same thing that it said in uh, uh, John chapter 17 verse 9. Isaiah 40. Oh, come on. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they go, shall... Go back and read that part of that right there, that last precept. When thou passest through the waters... I will be with thee. That was the northern and the southern tribes, man. When he sent them over here, we all passed over water before we got into this predicament we in today, man. Read that part one more time. When thou passest through the water, uh -huh. I will be with thee. He said that he was going to be with us. He was going to never leave us. Come on. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. Uh-huh. The rivers did not overflow us. We made it here safe and sound. The northern kingdom did. And so did the uh, southern kingdom. But we came here on slave ships. Come on. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. When we walk through all this captivity and stuff, man, we will not be parched, burned, destroyed. Come on. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee, for I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom. He did what to Egypt? I gave Egypt for thy ransom. He took them down through that is what the scripture is telling you. Come on. Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Uh, he gave all these nations because of who? The Israelites, man. Come on. Uh, Isaiah 44 and verse 21. Come on. The book of Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 21. Bring it out. Remember these, O Jacob and Israel. Say that again. Remember these, O Jacob and Israel. Come on. For thou art my servant. Uh, we who? What? For thou art my servant. Come on. I have formed thee. Thou art my servant. Uh-huh. O Israel, thou shalt not be forgotten of me. We, he said he's not going to forget his chosen children, man. Y'all better peep what these scriptures are saying. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 1 through 4 now. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 1 through 4. Now, bring it out. The book of Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 1 through 4. Uh -huh. At the same time, says the Lord, will I be the God of all the families of Israel. Uh, read that one more time. At the same time, says the Lord, will I be the God of all the families of Israel. I thought the world. Of all the families of Israel. Just the white man. Of all the families of Israel. Just Moab. Of all the families of Israel. Come on. And they shall be my people. We're going to be what? And they shall be my people. My people, possessions. Come on. Thus says the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. Uh huh. The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea. I have loved thee with an everlasting love. With a what? With an everlasting love. Uh, it ain't never stopped, man. It's still here today. Come on. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Uh huh. Again, I will build thee, and thou shalt be built. And he's trying to build us right now, man. And all we got to do is return back to these law, statutes, and commandments. Come on. O virgin of Israel, uh -huh. thou shalt again be adorned with thy tabrets, and shalt go forth. And the dances of them that make merry. Je now Jeremiah chapter 9. Uh, no, verse uh, 9 through 11. Same chapter. Uh, chapter 31, verse 9 through 11. Bring it out. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verses 9 through 11. Read. They shall come with weeping, and with supplications will I lead them. Uh -huh. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way, uh -huh. wherein they shall not stumble. We didn't stumble when we were going through that Red Sea, man. We were straight ahead, man. Come on. For I am a father to Israel. He's a what? I am a father to Israel. Uh-huh. And Ephraim is my firstborn. Ephraim is who? Is my firstborn. Come on. Hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations, and declare it in the isles of far off. Uh-huh. And say, he that scatters Israel will gather him and keep him. He that what? 
He that scattereth Israel. Because we've been scattered, prophesied that we was going to be scattered to the four corners of this world. Come on. Will gather him and keep him as a shepherd does his flock. But even though we scattered, we're going to be gathered again by the shepherd, man. Come on. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he. Uh-huh. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 46, verse 27 and verse 28 now. Come on. The book of Jeremiah chapter 46, verses 27 and 28. Uh-huh. But fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not thou, excuse me, and be not dismayed. Read it from the top one more time. But fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, uh -huh. and be not dismayed, O Israel. Uh -huh. For behold, I will save thee from afar off, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. We gonna save us from where? From their land, from the land of their captivity. From America, man, y'all better pay attention. Come on. And Jacob shall return. We shall return to Jerusalem, and be in rest and at ease. And none shall make him afraid. None gonna make us afraid, man. We doing away with that element of fear now, man, because we starting to find out the real truth. A lot of our people are waking up now. Come on. Fear thou not, O Jacob, my servant. Do what? Fear thou not, O Jacob, my servant. Uh-huh. Says the Lord. But I, for I am with thee, for I will make a full end of all the nations where I have driven thee. What he said he going to do to the nations? For I will make a full end of all the nations whether I have driven thee. Wherever we at, man, he going to punish them kings, presidents, ambassadors, dictators, whatever their position is, man, them nations in trouble, man. Come on. But I will not make a full end of thee. He not going to make a full end of his chosen people, the Israelites. Come on. But correct thee in measure. But he going to correct us it calls us to understand even the ones who don't he gonna cause them to start understanding these laws statutes and commandments come on yet will i not leave thee wholly unpunished yes but at the same time don't think you're gonna get away with them sins that you've been committing man you're gonna have to pay for that thing man ezekiel chapter 36 verse 24 through 28 now come on <clears throat> the book of ezekiel chapter 36 Verses 24 through 28. Uh-huh. For I will take you from among the heathen. He gonna do what? For I will take you from among the heathen. This is the second coming, man. Come on. And gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. This is when he gonna take all of us from the four corners of the earth where we've been scattered and bring us back home to Jerusalem, man. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. What he gonna do? Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. He gonna he going uh, cause our redemption, man, to redeem us. Come on. And ye shall be clean. And we shall be what? And ye shall be clean. He gonna do away with our sins, man. Come on. From all your filthiness. From all our what? From all your filthiness. From all our sins, man. Come on. And from all your idols will I cleanse you. Come on. A new heart. <coughs> Excuse me. A new heart also will I give you. A new mind is he what he going to give us. Come on. And a new spirit will I put within you. Come on. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. He going to take away the, the, the stony mindset that we have out of our flesh. Come on. And I will give you a heart of flesh. He going to give us a, a, a pure heart then, man. And I will put my spirit within you. And cause you to walk in my statues. In his what? In my statues. In his what? In my statues. In his laws. Come on. And you shall keep my judgments and do them. And we're going to do what? And do them. Okay. And you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. Jerusalem. And you shall be my people and I will be your God. Israel going to be, he, he said he going to be our God. His chosen people are the Israelite, his elect, man. Uh, chapter 37, Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 21 through 25 now. Read. The book of Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 21 through 25. <laughs> and say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen. He gonna do what? I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen. We just read this same similar scenario in another verse. Come on. Whether they be gone 
And we'll gather them on every side. He gonna gather us from the four corners where we were scattered out. Come on. And bring them into their own land. We gonna bring us where? Into their own land. Jerusalem. Come on. And I will make them one nation. He gonna make us what? One nation. It ain't gonna be no more northern kingdom and southern kingdom. He gonna make us what? One nation. Come on. In the land upon the mountains of Israel. Uh huh. And one king shall be king to them all. Yeah, I was shy. Come on. And they shall be no more. Two nations. They're gonna be no more two nations. Come on. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. Uh huh. Neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols. We ain't gonna be worshiping no idols and stuff like that no more, man. Come on. Nor with their detestable things. Nor with the detestable things, sin of any kind, shape, or form. Come on. Nor with any of their transgressions. Uh huh. But I will save them. He gonna what? But I will save them. He will what? But I will save them. Come on. Out of all their dwelling places. Wherever we've been scattered to, he gonna save us, man. Wherein they have sinned. Wherever we've been sinned, he gonna do away with our sins and stuff, man. But first, you gonna have to be a, a, a keeper of these commandments, man. Come on. And we'll cleanse them. Uh huh. So shall they be my people. So will we be what? My people. So will we be what? My people. Uh huh. And I will be their God. It's the same ownership. You know what I'm saying? He owns us. We are his chosen people, not the world, man. Joel, third chapter three, verse one and two. Joel chapter 3 verse 1 and 2. Come on. The book of Joel chapter 3 verses 1 and 2. For behold in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Read that one more time from the top. For behold in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Where we at right now, present day 2017, come on. I will also gather all nations. You're going to do what? I will also gather all nations. Uh-huh. And will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Where he going to bring us? Into the valley of Jehoshaphat. The valley of decisions, come on. And will plead with them there. For my people. He gonna do what? And will plead with them there for my people. We already done got in other topic uh, lessons that he pleads with a sword of fire. Come on. And for my heritage Israel. For his what? And for my heritage Israel. For his heritage Israel. Whom they have scattered among the nations. What did they do with us? Scattered among the nations. How did they scatter us in slavery, man? Read that one more time right there. Whom they have scattered among the nations. Come on. And parted my land. And parted uh, uh, the lands. A northern and southern kingdom. He going to bring it back to one uh, uh, when he's on the second coming of Christ. Yahweh Shai. Amos chapter 3 verse 1 and 2. Amos chapter 3 verse 1 and 2. Come on. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. Read. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. We read that from the top again. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. What Yahweh has spoken against us. Come o, on. O children of Israel. Come on. Against the whole family. Against who? Against the whole family. The north and the southern uh, kingdom. Come on. Which I brought up from the, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying... You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Read that part one more time. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Yeah, because we the only people have he really know, had a relationship one on one with. Come on. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. He going to punish us. Why? For all your iniquity. This is why we going through hell in 2017, man. Romans chapter 11, verse 1 through 2. Romans chapter 11 from the top verse 1 and 2. Come on. The book of Romans chapter 11 verses 1 and 2. Uh-huh. I say then, have God cast away his people? Read that again. I say then, have God cast away his people? Because these Christian folks will tell you, God done away with the Israelite. He loves everybody, man. Come on. God forbid. What? God forbid. What? God forbid. That means no, he ain't done away with his people. For I oh come on. For I also am an Israelite. Well, this is Paul talking here. What did he say? For I also am an Israelite. No, he ain't done away with his people because Paul telling you I am an Israelite. Just like I'm telling you right now, I'm an Israelite, man. Come on. 
of the seed of Abraham. From the seed of who? Of the seed of Abraham. Come on. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Uh huh. He from the tribe of Benjamin. I'm from the tribe of Judah. Hebrews chapter eight, verse eight through thirteen. Now. Hebrews chapter eight, verse eight through thirteen. Now. Come on. The book of Hebrews chapter eight, verses eight through thirteen. Bring it out. For finding fault with them, he saith. He put did read it from the top again. For finding fault with them, he saith. Come on. Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant. When he gonna make a what? A new covenant. A what? A new covenant. A new promise. With the house of Israel uh -huh. and with the house of Judah. With the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. How can you be a part of the new covenant if you wasn't part of the old one, man? Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Uh huh. Because they continue not in my covenant. He's telling you we always been on the wicked side, man. We know what we supposed to do, but we always been bucking against that thing. But now they've been playing with your noodles so long, you don't have no idea who you will. But it's time for us to return back to the fold, man. Keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. And I regarded them not, says the Lord. Uh huh. <clears throat> for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, uh -huh. says the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind. Are you going to put their laws well? Into their mind. You're going to plug that thing in there, man. That's how I woke up. Come on. And write them in their heart. And write them well? In their heart. In your mind, man. And I will be to them a God. You're going to be to us a what? A God. A what? A God. A what? A God. Come on. And they shall be to me. A people. They, we going to be to him a what? A people. They go to the same possession. He our God and we are his people, man. Psalms chapter 47, verse 4 now. Come on. The book of Psalms chapter 47 and verse 4. Uh -huh. He shall choose our inheritance for us. He did what? He shall choose our inheritance for us. For us. Because we ain't have nothing to do with place that we fell on the 12 choice, either inside or out. We didn't have no choice in that thing. Read that from the top again. He shall choose our inheritance for us. He chose wherever he wanted people to go. It was his choice. Come on. The excellency of Jacob when he loved. The what? The excellency of Jacob whom he loved. Uh-huh. Malachi chapter 1, verse 2 and 3 now. Malachi chapter 1. Verse 2 and 3 now. Come on. The book of Malachi, chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. Uh huh. I have loved you, says the Lord. Read that again. I have loved you, says the Lord. He's talking to Israel. Come on. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? We be asking them stupid questions, you know, because we always been a little rebellious. How you loved us, the Most High? How you loved us, Yahweh? Come on. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Was not this true? Come on. Says the Lord. Yet I love Jacob. Yet what? Yet I love Jacob. Yet I what? Yet I love Jacob. Come on. And I hated Esau. He what? And I hated Esau. So if this the commander in chief. We supposed to follow suit there, man. Ain't no way that he don't hate somebody. And we ain't supposed to follow that same suit. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Precept of that thing. Romans 9 and, and verse 13. It's very important you know who these 18 nations that he has uh, 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 made in the very beginning of this thing. Because they still existing right now in that same fashion and form. But y'all been fooled and sleeped out here. Come on. The book of Romans, chapter 9, and verse 13. Come on. As it is written. As it is written, because we just read what uh, it was written in Malachi. Uh, come on. Jacob, have I loved. Who? Jacob, have I loved. Israel, has he loved. Come on. But Esau, have I hated. But who? But Esau, have I hated. But who? But Esau, have I hated. Uh, it's very important y'all do some studying to find out who that man Esau is. I got a topic on that I'm going to bring out for y'all right here on this thing live one day. Hosea chapter 11, verse 1. Come on. The book of Hosea chapter 11 
verse 1. Uh-huh. When Israel was a child. When Israel was what? A child. Come on. Then I loved him. But from the beginning, he loved us, man. Come on. And called my son out of Egypt. And called us well? Out of Egypt. That's right. Come on. Romans chapter 11, verse 28. Oh. We've been at it. Had a long night, my son, again. He got 10 teeth coming in. I ain't had no sleep. And had a toothache. His gums swollen up. You know, I'm doing the best I can, though. All praises to the Most High. Bring it out. <laughs> The book of Romans, chapter 11, and verse 28. Come on. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake. Read that from the top again. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake. Come on. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. Ah, uh, read it one more time for my. As concerning the gospel. As concerning this gospel, this truth, this Bible. They are enemies for your sake. They enemies for our sakes. Come on. But as touching the election. Touching the elect. Come on. They are beloved for the Father's sake. For his sake we are loved, man. Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 3. Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 3. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 3. Uh-huh. Yea, he loves the people. He, what? Well, read that from the top again. Yea, he loves the people. Come on. All his saints are in thy hand. All of who is in his hands? All his saints are in thy hand. The saints are the Israelites, man. Come on. And they sat down at thy feet. Everyone shall receive of thy words. Deuteronomy chapter 10. No, no, chapter 4, verse 37. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 37. You're going to get a paycheck for what you done done here, whether it's good or bad. Be ready for that thing. He stated that in, in, in Revelations, chapter 20, second chapter. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, and verse 37. Come bring it out. And because he loved thy fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them. He chose who? Their seed after them. He chose us after them, man. He had already had in his mind what he was going to do to us, man, from the very beginning. Read. And brought thee out in his sight with his mighty power out of Egypt. He brought us out of Egypt, man. He saved us. He redeemed us, man, to have us where we at today, man. And caused all of these problems and stuff to happen so we would return back into him, man. This is what's going on in 2017 while people are waking up all around the nation, man. This ain't no accident, man. It happens every time that he's coming back, man. He's causing people to wake up because he say, I'm a real friend. I ain't finna leave none of y'all. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 15. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 15. Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to love them. Read that one more time. Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to love them. Come on. And he chose their seed after them. He chose what? Their seed after them. He's talking about us in 2017, man. Come on. Even you. Even who? Even you. Even who? Even you. The listener right now, come on. Above all people. Above what? Above all people. Deuteronomy 7 and 6, man. The same thing he said. Come on. As it is this day. As it is when? This day. What day? This day. Yesterday. This day. He's talking about 2017 to the reader and everybody who's ruling right now, man. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 12. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 12. And of Benjamin, he said, The beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him, and the Lord shall cover him all the day long, and he shall dwell between his shoulders. He shall dwell where? Between his shoulders. Uh-huh. Up here, man. Come on. Read it one more time. And of Benjamin, he said, The beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall cover him all the day long. All the days of his life, he going to cover him like a shield, man. That's when we keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. And he shall dwell between his shoulders. In his mind, man. Come on. Let's go to Hosea chapter 3, verse 1 now. Excuse me. Hosea chapter 3, verse 1 now.
Come on. The book of Hosea, chapter 3 and verse 1. Read. Then said the Lord unto me, Go yet, love a woman, beloved of her friend, yet an adulteress, according to the love of the Lord toward the children of Israel. Toward the children of who? Of Israel. Toward who? Of Israel. Come on. Who look to other gods and love flagons of wine. Uh-huh. We had always been got wrapped up in what the world been doing, man. That's where we at right now. But all of a sudden, we done started waking up and people starting to wonder how is this happening? It's because the Most High. In Genesis, man, he said, when I divided the light from the darkness. And then the book of John, chapter 1, when it said, in the darkness, comprehend them not. That's why you say this truth to a lot of people and they don't care for comprehend, man. It's because they were standing on the light side back in Genesis, man. Come on. So Psalms, chapter 87 and verse 2. Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 87 and verse 2. Uh-huh. The Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Man, read that one more time. The Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Come on. For chapter 78, same book, Psalm 78, verse 68 now. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 78, verse 68. Uh-huh. But, cho but choose the tribe of Judah. We did what? But choose the tribe of Judah. Because that's where your Howard shot came through. That's what the same tribe that most of you people here in uh, America are uh, subscribed to. Come on. The Mount Zion. The what? The Mount Zion. Uh-huh, because we are the Mount Zion, the so-called black man here in America. Come on. Which he loved. Which he what? Which he loved. Which he what? Which he loved. Because well, you know he loved this man because he says to your Howard shot through this bloodline, through this particular tribe, man. 2 Samuel chapter 12, verse 25 now. Come on. The book of 2 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 25. Uh-huh. And he sent by the hand of Nathan the prophet, and he called his name Jedidiah. Uh-huh. Because of the Lord. Read it one more time. And he sent by the hand of Nathan the prophet, and he called his name Jedidiah. Because of the Lord. Right, because the Lord had done said, said so back in the early beginning. That's why y'all waking up today, man. That's why people waking up in so many mass numbers around the world right now. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 1. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 1. Read. Ye are the children of the Lord your God. Read that again. Ye are the children of the Lord your God. The so-called black man, Native American, uh, uh, Latinos, come on. Ye shall not cut yourselves. We say what? Ye shall not cut yourselves. Come on. Nor make any baldness between your eyes for the dead. Because them them gypsies and practices, man. We've been taught all of this wicked stuff over here. We actually are not supposed to do none of these things. No tattoos. No Michael Jordan haircuts. None of that wickedness, man. None of it, man. Psalms 82 and verse 6 now. Psalms 82 and verse 6 now. Come on. The book of Psalms. 82 and verse the 6. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. Come on. I have said, ye are God. He told us what? Ye are gods. What did he tell us one more time? Ye are gods. Ye are gods on this planet, man. Come on. And all of you are children of the Most High. All of us so-called blacks, man. The 12 tribes are gods, man. We all are gods here on this earth, man. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 19. When you stroll over to uh, the book of John, it tells you that same thing. And how was I quoted that thing? It said, did not the your book of the law say that ye were gods? Come on. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, and verse 19. Uh-huh. But I have but I said, How shall I put thee among the children and give thee a pleasant land, a goodly heritage of the hosts of nations? And I said, Thou shalt call me my father, and shall not turn away from me. We should call him the father. That's why we start that prayer with our father. We should call we the, he the only father we truly have, man. Exodus chapter 40, verse 34 through 35 now. Got a few more for y'all this afternoon.
a few more for y'all this afternoon. Come on. The book of Exodus, chapter 40, verses 34 and 35. Read. Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation, mm -hmm. and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. The glory of Yahweh filled the place, man. Come on. And Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation uh -huh. because the cloud abode thereon, uh -huh. and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. His glory has always been around. It's still here now, man. But the only way you can activate it is through these laws, statutes, and commandments, my people. Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 13. Come on. The book of Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 13. Uh huh. I bring near my righteousness. It shall not be far off. Uh huh. He's talking to Israel. His righteousness ain't never been really far off from us, man. Come on. And my salvation shall not tarry. Uh-huh. His salvation ain't going to take long. It might seem like it's been a long time to us, but it's been no time in his eyesight, man. Come on. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. Salvation is only for us, man. It's not for the rest of these people. They straight here in the heaven that they didn't set up for themselves. But it's our turn next, nigga. We got next. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 3. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 3. Come on. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49, and verse 3. Come on. And said unto me, Thou art my servant. We are what? Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Right, because through us he will be glorified. We're going to give him all the praise. Come on. Um, uh, chapter 55 and verse 5. Come on. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 55, verse 5. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God. That all of these nations going to flock to us. As it's stated in Isaiah chapter 14, man, they going to cleave to the house of Israel because they know that's going to be the only way they going to have a, a so-called life then, man. Without us, man, it would right now, man, without us, man, this world would perish. Read it from the top again. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God. He gonna make it happen. Come on. And for the Holy One of Israel. For the what? And for the Holy One of Israel. He only did some with Israel, man. He's the Holy One of Israel. Come on. For he has glorified thee. He glorified us, not the rest of these nations, man. I don't care what the Christianity, uh, Pastor Pope Chop, Reverend Wop Wop, Deacon Chitlins, all them folks been talking about, man. It's garbage, man. The, 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 the brainwashing, uh, uh, the doctrine of demons. First Kings chapter eight, verse twenty-three. <clears throat> Come on, the book of First Kings chapter eight, verse twenty-three. Bring it out, and he said. Lord God of Israel, there is no God like thee. Then read that from the top again. And he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like thee. Ain't nobody like Yahweh, man. In heaven above uh -huh. or on earth beneath. Nobody can stand up, match, equal, equal to the most high Yahweh by Hashem. Come on. Who keepeth covenant and mercy with thy service that walk before thee with all their heart. Read it one more time, huh? And he said, Lord God of Israel, uh -huh. there is no God like thee in heaven above or on earth beneath, uh -huh. who keepeth covenant and mercy with thy service that walk before thee with all their heart. And we walk with, when we walk with all our hearts, man, we, we, we right up under the most high, man. We in the spot that we supposed to be when we keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. But through the white man doctrine that he didn't westernize our brain in over here, man, he got us in sin, man, to keep us on the bottom here. But as soon as we come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, they in trouble, man. Them folks in trouble and they know it, man. Isaiah 44 and verse 6. Come on. The book of Isaiah, chapter 44 and verse 6. Thus saith the Lord, the king of Israel. The what? The king of Israel. The king of Israel. The world. 
the king of Israel. Only Israel, man. The rest of these nations are garbage. Of course, what Isaiah said about him in chapter 40, man, verse 15 through 17. Come on. And his redeemer, the Lord of hosts. Uh-huh. I am the first and I am the last. He the first thing and the last thing that's going to be around him, man. Come on. And beside me, there is no God. There is nobody else beside the most high Yahweh Bahashim, man. Psalms 147, verse 19 through 20 now. Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, uh -huh. verses 19 and 20. Bring it out. He showeth his word unto Jacob. He showeth his word to who? Jacob. To who? Jacob. To who? Jacob. The Israelites, man. Come on. His statue and his judgments unto Israel. Unto Israelites, the 12 tribes. Read. He has not dealt so. He what? He has not dealt so. Come on. With any nation. Read it from the top one more time. The boat 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Uh huh. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Read. He has not dealt so with any nation. Come on. And as for his judgment. And as for what? And as for his judgment. His commandments. Come on. They have not known them. Them folks ain't know none of these commandments because they wasn't given to those people. Praise ye the Lord. Praise who? Praise ye the Lord. Praise Yahweh, man, for that right there. Uh, Psalms chapter 148 verse 14 now. Come on. The book of Psalms chapter 148 and verse 14. Uh-huh. He also exalted the horn of his people. He did what? He also exalted the horn of his people. Uh-huh. The praise of all his saints. The praise of who? All his saints. Uh-huh. Even of the children of Israel. A people near unto him. We what unto him? A people near unto him. Because we ain't never been far outside. The only thing that separated us from our king, our true king, is our sins, man. According to uh, um, Isaiah 59, verse 1 and 2, man. Deuteronomy chapter 32 now, verse 8 through 10. It's the last one for tonight. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verses 8 through 10. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, what did he do? He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. It is who people? For the Lord's portion is his people. The Israelites. Jacob. It's a lot of his inheritance. He put everything, and like he was gambling, he put everything on Jacob, the 12 tribes, man. Come on. He found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness. Uh-huh. Found us out in the wilderness, man. Come on. He led them about. He instructed him. He led us for 40 years out there in the wilderness, man. Through Moses, he instructed us the things that we supposed to do, man. Come on. He kept him as the apple of his eye. We've always been the apple of his eye. Read the prescriptions one more time, 8 through 10. Come on. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, uh -huh. when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Uh -huh. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Who? What is the lot of his inheritance? Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He done put everything on us, man, when he rolled them dice, and man, and it, and it all fell on us, man. Come on. He found him in a desert land. He found us in the wilderness, man. He he, he nourished us from the whole time, man. He, he created Adam from out the dust of the ground, man. Come on. And in the waste, howling wilderness. And for 40 years, we walked the circle <coughs> around there, man. Come on. He led him about. He led us about through Moses. He used Moses as our guide, man. Come on. He instructed him. He instructed Moses, man, on how to instruct us. Come on. He kept him as the apple of his eye. He kept us as a nation, as the apple of his eye. We appreciate all of y'all joining us here at Judah Knights of Israel um, in the lion's den. And with that, we close out and we say shalom. Shalom. shalom.